resistor and plug it into the bottom of that capacitor, touch into the capacitor other side, that's a positive side. So the long side of these little electrolytic capacitors is the positive side, so you guys don't know or do know now. We go ahead, we put it on. Sounds like a little reduction, but not much. But let's go ahead and I can put my hand on here. What I'm gonna do is click it on, put my finger on here, and I'm gonna hold it and feel for for heat. Okay, so I got my, it's running. I can hear it hissing. And so far, I'm feeling a little warmth. Feeling a little warm, now it's getting real warm. Okay, so here, what was that? Five seconds, six seconds? This was hissing, that still has resistance and capacitance. And the capacitance is not slowing it down. Let's go ahead and stick a RF choke in here. So I guess what we could do is just, uh, let's leave the capacitance, okay? And since it's not letting it cool down, maybe it's a good balancer. Then we're gonna go into this RF choke and we'll touch into that, okay? So now going before the base, we got a resistance that I have no freaking clue. I got a capacitance, which is very little. I don't wanna read because it's very little. And this is a RF choke, which basically builds a magnetic field. It's got a resistance wire, I guess, going through it. it I, maybe it does it, maybe just straight through wire, but it builds a magnetic field. And the magnetic field in any type of coupling, a magnetic coupling, should smooth it out enough where the voltage ain't going through and killing out the base part of this transistor. Let's go ahead and now it's on. I'm gonna lift it up and hold it. It's on, but it's not as powerful hissing. So I can tell you that it's it slowed down and it's warming up in my hand. Yeah, it's getting really hot. So still not slowing down. So is there anything else I have here? Oh, we didn't do a, di uh, a diode. Let's go with a smaller one than this. And what we want to try is if, what if we block the shit from coming backwards? Maybe it's a feedback that we're getting, sort of like a speaker and a microphone feedback. All right, hell, let's, um, what direction? So we're going through the transistor. Uh, we can't be going in, we're coming out. Let's just say the negative is coming out. So we're gonna go ahead, and what we're gonna do is leave everything, everything is in place, right? Now we're gonna pick and go and connect the other end of this choke. Let's go ahead and put the diode with the, with the bar, the ribbon heading outward, not in. Then you can see the path going through the transistor, what direction. So now we're, now we're going to connect. Whew. We're going to connect something. Freaking confused with all this shit. Here we're gonna connect this, and now we're coming out of the dioid. Going into the resistor, out the resistor, in the capacitor, out the capacitor, into an RF choke, out of the RF choke to a diode facing outward. Not working. All right, let's turn the diode around. The hell, man. Now, let's go ahead and try that again. It's working. Oh, yeah. Here it's snapping on my hand. Let's go over here and touch this. So far, not feeling really much heat at all. Time's going by. I'm not really feeling heat. So, so far, the dioid may be the motherfucker. May be the one we're looking for. Now, obviously, I'll have it all together. So I guess process elimination is we can start backing off stuff, like maybe the capacitor. And then, you know, listen, my finger's still on it. It's not even warm yet. 
Are we running? Yeah, she's snapping. Yep, she's snapping. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's not even warm. <laughs> Bingo. 20 minutes, guys. Hope you enjoyed the festivities. We'll do another video and we'll start eliminating some of this and see what we can get out of it. But so far, you got a dioid and it's, our, it's ribbons facing inward. Then it goes into one end of this RF choke, out of the other end of the RF choke into the capacitor positive, come out of the capacitive negative, going into the resistor of unknown source, and then out of the resistor into the base of the transistor. Transistor is still not even warm and still snapping. All right, I see success, guys. I'm glad to enjoy this and sharing it with you. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Stay tuned. Scott and I will be starting a talk radio show and it'll be more than what I do or what Scott does, made by one man. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna podcast it and we're gonna invite guests to speak with us based on different topics. And we want um, your opinions and your input and we want you to have a good talk Radio is what we're going to call it. Put us in your workshop. You can just listen to us as you're working on your project. Share it out there. Tell people about it. We're doing it for the passion and for the love. Hopefully you enjoy it. Peace out, my brothers. Leave your comments. Also, share me.